Hi, welcome to 2020 Tasty Treats with Gourmet Quilter. I'm Susan Clare, Gourmet Quilter, having a whole lot of fun in 2020 doing 20 different series with 20 different parts. This one is 20 different house appliques and we are doing really well. We've already got 18 of them done so the village is nearly finished. We've just got a couple more that fit in this space here. So we're actually up to house applique number 19. And this is really like a little model village within the village. So much fun. So there is a pattern available on gourmetquarter.com. All the patterns are downloadable. They come with all the shapes ready for tracing. And to Fusible Web, I'm doing fused applique. I'm also doing free motion stitching for my applique. So this one, as I said, is a little like a little model village within it's five little houses that are similar to some of the ones that are out there I have been to model villages they are so much fun have you ever been to a model village they just have miniature houses so cute anyway so what I'm going to do here I've started positioning all the houses windows and doors none of them have got roofs yet um, so I just thought we'd see it so it's just a matter of making sure things fit that you've got enough for a seam allowance underneath and that there's enough gap because some of the roofs will stick out a little bit but because this one is shorter it's got a little bit of room to move so it's just making sure that everything is fitting on the background and then we can start putting their little roofs on this one does she doesn't have a roof but it's got an upstairs triangular window which we can pop in here and the lights are on upstairs in this one, very definitely, just shining out. And this little cottage in here, possibly feeling a touch overwhelmed by its tall neighbours, but holding its own. And a nice tall slender one here. And then this larger house here. Again, its roof is sticking out a little bit, so you just have to make sure that everything fits in its space, and, and it's looking pretty good actually. So I think we can iron all that in place. So there's a bit more sewing to do on this one because there's quite a few windows and doors in there. I'm free motion stitching, so I'm going to pop some uh, white cotton batting behind to hold as my stabilizer. To, all of my stitching so that's all looking pretty good I'm going to go to the machine and start doing some stitching so if you've been watching the rest of the series you'll have seen me doing this sort of applique outline stitching free motion I've dropped my feet teeth I've got a little open toe foot on I've got a grey thread in there and this is really the same thing as we've been doing it's just perhaps a little bit more in one block and things are a little bit smaller so I don't think there's anything terribly um, hard about it it's just a matter of working our way through each little house so I might start here in this one in the middle and do some of the stitching so it's just outlining just on the applique free motion and I'll just get rid of that thread and we will need to stop and start to do windows but the doors we can include as we go And we can also skip straight on to the roof. Now you can do some decorative stitching on the roofs if you'd like to. I'm not going to on this one, they're quite small, but, but that doesn't mean they couldn't have some. So there's one little house I haven't done the windows yet, so I need to come back and do that. So I'll keep going and do a little bit more and then show you how I'm getting on. So I'm just doing the little windows. So they do all need to be done individually unless you want to have stitching lines between, which I wasn't sure I did. But again, they don't take very long. So 
So I think that's my last window to do. So I'll keep going because I now know that I can do the houses and doors and roofs pretty much all in one go. So I'll keep doing a little bit more of that and come back in when I'm a little bit nearer the end. So I'm just on the last little house. So exciting. This little model village. This would be a great little block to embellish. You could do some little embroidered flowers and things. Or not. I quite like it just as it is. But it would be an opportunity. So just a very skinny little roof here. So we'll just skip onto it and stitch it. It's taking our time. five little houses we'll give them a press and pop our little model village up in their larger village and that then is just going to leave us one more house block to go for the series of 20 this is applique number 19 with these five little mini houses in there so I will see you again with the final number 20